is up guys coming at you with another monster hunter video and today we're joining someone's quest in order to tackle acidic glavinus glavinus is a subspecies in the rotten veil so acidic glavinus i'm i'm a little bit i'm in the mix between acidic glavinus to be honest with you um i don't like him but i don't hate him at the same time so acidic glavinus uh design looking wise with the green and or like the weird stinky green and yellow um, eh, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. It looks okay. Nothing too special. Um, his fight overall is kind of interesting, though. So, the thing with Acidic Glavness is that Acidic Glavness attacks using his tail with much, with a lot of precision, much like a longsword, while regular Glavness slams his tail around with, like, a greatsword. That's how that's how the developers put his move set in terms of how it works. I think this version of Glavinus is much more deadly and annoying, and something that not a lot of people might like. I for one don't really like it. I think it's a cool thing, like lore-wise, that he does that, but I'm not a fan of the move set. Like sometimes it's really hard to counter. But yeah, his music's the exact same. He's just fought now in the in the Rotten Vale, and he's got and he's got that new move set. But like, you'll see here, he might get into a turf four with over Anjanath. But the thing about Acidic Glavinus is that he uses the toxin in the surrounding area to buff his tail and give us debuffs like defense down, effluvia, much stuff like that. And man, he just got taken down by Vulgar Anjanath there. And I just got paralyzed by a great Gyros. Uh-oh. Oh, there he goes. Huh. Thanks, Vulgar. Trying to get me out of that. What am I doing? There we go. Somehow I got a Fluvia. I don't. I have no idea how I got a Fluvia. I think it might have been actually from his tail. Definitely want to guard against that, though. Yeah, I. He's weak to fire, by the way, just to give his weakness. But I'd, I'd bring honestly whatever. Bring whatever you can, and then just hope and pray. There we go, I got the mount again. Oh, but those sticky ammo came in clutch. These guys are putting in work. Oh, we have to capture him, by the way. I didn't even realize that. Damn. Get fucked. He's probably almost dead, so we should probably try and capture him. Actually, I'm not really sure if he is or not, to be honest with you.
But yeah, he's still he's still pretty enjoyable. He could just be a little bit more annoying with this new long sword like move set with this tail. So just be careful of that. Damn, did they up, like, a Fluvia or some shit? Because, man, he is, he is giving everyone a Fluvia right now. Okay, he should be almost dead. Really? He's not almost dead? Holy fuck. And there's Ebony Odegar, and there's our next target. <laughs> For the next video. That's funny. But yeah, I don't I don't really got much to say about this guy. He's just kind of whatever, you know. Okay, I'm not sure if he's almost dead or not, but we're going to try this anyways. No, nope, he is not almost dead. Okay, just want to make sure. Mount off again. All right, he's got to be almost dead. There's no way he's not. There we go. So that's the Cidic Glavinus, guys. Ah, oh, not that much different than the original Glavinus. Uh, just slightly more annoying and precise and quick with his with his tail, but that's about it. Same fight, different moves. I'd give him like a, I'd give him like a eight out of ten. He's still fun, but he's still just he's not as good as the original. And I don't really like where you fight him. I like fighting Glavinus much more in the desert areas than in a stinky graveyard. So yeah, that's Acidic Glavinus, guys. Let me know what you let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. Leave a like and all that good stuff. And next video, we're going to be hunting Ebony Odegarin. So stay tuned for that one. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy hunting.